what's going on now okay is that better can you people see me now can anyone hear me i didn't realize there was a go live button because i had the um had it reduced okay we've got 11 people there has anyone got a question about anything fiber optics you'll need to type if you have hello first of all can you hear me um I was seeing Rick could hear me this morning, so. Okay, good. I've got a yes for hear me. Has anyone got a question then? Thank you, Gandhi Floss. Oh, hi, Dean. Okay, I've got another hear you. I, I think Maliha is going to be along with a question in a minute about question two. Um, all right, here comes Nada. Hi. Okay, nine people. So that's kind of like one row in the classroom, isn't it? There meant to be two groups, but we'll see what happens. SS says hi. We are going to be best off with a question. But, uh, you know, if, if you're just pleased to, you know, check out the stack of board games on the cupboard, that's fine as well. Um, should I be doing terrible jokes? I just don't know. Um, it's all a bit weird for me. Up to 11 viewers now. Uh, I'm not sure I'm quite rivaling the BBC, am I? Um, oh, oh, got somebody from Rick's class. That's fine. <laughs> okay, Gandhi Floss, just, just, just here for the lols. That's fine. Better than the BBC. Okay. Um, well, there you go. They don't have headset mics, do they? Just oh, right, and Rick's here as well, keeping an eye on you. All good, 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 good. Um, I think what I'm just going to do, if you just give me a moment, I'm just going to grab my keyboard. Um, I'm just going to type into both the lower group, um, WhatsApp groups, like live now. Um, as I say, this is going to work better if. Um, 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 somebody actually has a question. Um, right, that's lower D. Just let me find lower A. Um, okay, still more people saying hi, which is great. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, I'll just tell you a bit about this. So, um, I've spent the last two weeks thinking what I really need is a webcam um, and then thinking I don't have one and they're just getting more and more expensive and no one has anyone in stock. I eventually track, cracked the problem today by um, using my phone um, as a webcam by something called, oh, what's it called? It's just down here, uh, Droidcam. Okay, so we are on the free version of Droidcam quite a lot of faff setting it up um but well worthwhile as um it's now saving quite a lot of money i might even sub subscribe um hopefully over the holidays we'll be um uh, upgrading to fiber broadband here at clinch towers so that we can possibly stream it a higher quality in which case we might have to pay for the app at four pound 16 for better quality um right well it's all good that you're all here um uh, uh do you want me just to go through some questions uh, on the worksheet? What I'm planning to do is I was trying to think of something really clever as a way of communicating with you in terms of writing. Um, I didn't really come up with anything other than just putting my phone so it faces a piece of paper, which is what we're going to do in a moment. Um, OK, Dean Chowdhury, 2A, I'm stuck. Thank you very much, Dean. Um, your contribution is much appreciated. Um, so, a uh, question. I will, I'll keep my face in view just for a moment, and then I'll I'll, I'll go to the kind of um, piece of paper cam in a moment. The refractive index of the core is 1.7 for red light and 1.52 for blue light. Is the critical angle bigger for red light or blue light? Well, um, the sine of the critical angle is n2 over n1. Uh, we always assume a fiber is in air or a vacuum if there's no other information. So the crit sign of the critical angle is 1 over 1.47 for uh, red and 1 over 1.52 for blue light. Um, 
And so the result of that will be uh, because it, when we're under 90 degrees, the bigger sine um, sine theta is, the bigger um, the angle is. So one uh, one over 1.47 is bigger than one over 1.52. So the critical angle is bigger for red light than it is for blue. Of course, the other way you could do that is just do inverse sign on your calculator, one over 1.47 and one over 1.52. And obviously the one with the bigger angle has a big, big good critical angle. Right. I feel like we've made some progress. We've got 19 people here and we've actually answered a question. Um, no, Simon Maliha, I'm sure just messaged me a moment ago. I might, what I might do is just go through what she asked me to um, anyway, um, on the basis that, um, uh, oh no, it might have been about the previous piece of work. Well, I'm sure I can find it anyway. Um, let me just have a look, see if I can find out what that question was. Um, Oh, right now, blimey, it's a freeze frame from my video. I don't know how, how both the red and the blue label ray are labeled as 1000 meters. Ah, right. Okay. I think what she's saying it there is that the, the ray, I think what I meant was the ray traveling down a fiber at the critical angle. Um, oh, oh. Okay, so Maliha, you can't spell your name either. That's so surprising because you were bullying me yesterday about the fact that I couldn't spell Maliha, which was simply a typo, and I am dyslexic. And you've spelt it M A L A B Z E E. How confusing is that? Uh, anyway, so what was your question? I think really that that little clip of the video you were showing, the, the length of the fiber is a thousand. The zigzagging ray um, is obviously uh, longer than that, uh, and hence has a, a greater time. Um, has a greater time travel. Uh, cheers for the lols, Sufian. Much appreciated. Flattery will get you a long way in life. Are there any other questions about this sheet uh, or about, in fact, any of the work that's been set or even about anything? Otherwise, this is all going to ground to a halt, isn't it? Um, uh, Millie, how can I just apologize for bullying you? But you did start it by bullying me. OK. Um, um, but, um, but, um, Question 1G. Dean is yet again the star. Estimate how long we must leave between pulses of light if one pulse must not overlap with the other pulse. OK, so we're now going to right. I'm afraid you're going to have to go upside down. And it's more complicated than I thought, because obviously you'll probably want to see me writing the wrong way up. Um, and that's um, it's really hard not to get the wire in the way. It's really hard um, to. Um, get it pointing in a reasonable direction okay so we have actually got um a bit of an area i can speak i can speak on so um the well, question 1g is about this thing called modal um dispersion about different rays taking different times to travel down the fiber um i may if i need to get get the answers up on the screen but if i just do a kind of similar example Let's imagine that the ray. Um, right, so I haven't, I'm just going to start again. So I actually write in the center of the place um, that I'm writing. Okay, so. Oh, okay, I'm much further over than I thought. Um, I don't think the autofocus is working very well either, but. but so. Is that actually writing upside down? Maybe that's the problem. Yes, that's the problem. No wonder I'm confused. OK, so let's try that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Can I, maybe the accelerometer is still on. Right, we need to get the worksheet. And this is a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Right. In fact, is that actually a mirror image that you're looking at? It is, isn't it? So, in fact, you're not going to be able to read anything on that. Oh, right. And I think that the cunning people at DroidCam are going to charge me um, to, wrote, to flip the image. OK, right. That's all right. We know now we need to go back to looking at John mode. Um, if I can do that without tangling up all these wires and smashing the place to bits too much. Um, and so I'll do my best to answer the questions 
And if I need to hold up the old bit of paper, I, well, no, there's no point in holding the bits of paper up because they're all going to be, let's just try that. I hold that up. Yes, that is, as well as being out of focus, unreadable, readable gobbledygook. So I'll just have to do my best to explain without writing anything. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so was it a mirror image? What is it upside down? I clearly needed to have done more experimentation with this. So anyway, I got asked for question 1G, which I think I can explain already, and question 4. Question 4 is more curious because I have a sheet in front of me with only questions 1 and 2 on it. But th there you go. That's life. Estimate how long we must leave between pulses of light if one pulse not mu must not overlap another pulse. I think a crucial word here is the word um, estimate. OK, um, the reason why I've said estimate is because this isn't a hard and fast rule. But if we can take some simple numbers, let's imagine that um, one pulse of light takes 1.2 milliseconds to travel down the fight. But that's 1.2 times 10 to the minus three. But by saying milliseconds, I don't have to keep saying 1.2 times 10 to the minus three. And then the other pulse. So that's the one bouncing at an angle and the straight one through one goes through in uh, one millisecond, then that means that the pulse is spread out over 0 0.2 milliseconds. It arrives, the, uh, the first bit of the pulse arrives, and then it's another 0 0.2 milliseconds until the last bit of the pulse arrives. Now, assuming that that's true for all your pulses, you would want, wouldn't want to put a pulse into the fiber um, closer together than 0.2 milliseconds so we can we have to wait 0.2 milliseconds between pulses and therefore the maximum frequency we can put information into the fiber is one over um 0.2 milliseconds one over 0.2 times 10 to minus three and that'll give us a kind of estimate of our maximum frequency um so ss also question four is that sidra um all oh, right, and you're also, are we doing mocks when we go back? That is a question for management. I'm a lonely teacher, okay? We don't get to make powerful decisions like that. Um, I think that, yes, I think that somebody somewhere probably has thought about this and that there will be um, some kind of um, decision about when things start reopening and then as things reopen somebody will have to think about how the university application process fits relative to that um i wouldn't worry specifically about mocks and i've just seen dean wants me to explain that again so i'll do my best what i would worry about if you i mean worry is maybe not the right word is you what you need to um what you need to do is make sure that you're ready for the exams in the summer of 2021, because really, I can't see how those are not going to happen one way or another. And it's a, a matter of making sure that you're as up to date as possible. OK, um, I'm now going to attempt to draw a, 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 an image. Um, I won't put any numbers on it. So. There's two pulses. Um, what we're saying is, I'm just going to think where the camera is, that those pulses go in looking like that, but they get spread out. OK, let me try and kind of draw a spread out pulse in a red line. So they get spread out because some of the pulse arrives before other parts of the pulse. So you can see there. They're starting to spread out. Some of the pulses arrived earlier, some of those arrived later, and they're starting to blend into each other. Um, so, um, uh, getting distracted by looking at the questions, which is a bad thing. So, if we know roughly how much spreading there is, that's the size of gap. So, if the pulse spreads by 0.2 milliseconds, then you want to wait 0.2 milliseconds to make sure all that spreading's out the way before you send the next pulse. So you can send a pulse down the fiber every 0.2 milliseconds. So how many times can you do that in a second? 
Well, it's one over 0.2 times 10 to the minus three is the number of times you can do that in a second. No one has any idea at all what will happen with UCAS predictions. Presumably, I mean, you may have known there's a, an announcement today um, about, um, yeah, what will happen with the A-levels. Somebody will be putting this together. Whether you'll apply in the autumn as per usual, nobody knows because it all depends on yeah, when we come out of this. I think what is true is what you don't want to happen is that, yeah, we're all going to be in a classroom together, together again at some point, aren't we? And you don't want to be sat there at that moment and the person next to you, I don't know, I think we've set five things to do so far, possibly more. Uh, yeah, maybe when we get back, that's 30 things. The person next to you has done all 30 things. I'm sitting at the front. I say, let's work out a critical angle. Let's work out a dispersion going on ahead. Um, let's work out how many maxima we'll get from this diffraction grating. And the person next to you is going, bang, bang, bang. They know all the answers. And you're going, you know what? I really should have checked my emails. Because at that point, depending on how long this goes on for, that could be a gap between you and other people. And, and that's probably, whether that's the final exam or that's predictions, that's quite important to get that right. Um, so, SS, it, 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 you said question four. I'm not sure which question four you meant. If it was off a different sheet, I'm sure I can find that sheet. Uh, I just need to know which one. How, how are we all doing? OK, um, not being driven too mad by the other members of the families, I hope. Um, all keeping well. 18 people live. That's the most people I've ever broadcast it. No, that's not quite true because I've been on local news once. So that's probably a few more than 14 people. Um, bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Uh, anyway, Maliha, did I answer your question? Uh, and did you have any other questions about the work set or about has anyone got, you know, or any of the refraction work that we've been doing? Um, that was an email. I need next time. I need to make sure I mute sounds from the computer. OK, I got another high there, which is good. Um, isn't it nice to run a YouTube channel where I don't keep saying, please subscribe and, you know, all that sort of thing and trying to make because I'm not making money. I'm a very honorable person. I'm just educating you. Yeah. OK, so could you just type briefly what you don't understand? Is it? why it's a thousand meters for both rays. Um, but, um, yeah, okay, all right. Get that coin. No idea what that means. One of the things I'm really looking forward to about proper teaching Right, a proper sensible question. Can you please send us the topics we need to learn for our exam? I have the purple physics book, but I'm not sure what topics from that book we need to learn. So by the purple book, I mean, I assume you mean the one well, the college sells, the CGP book um, for the entire A level. That's my next Netflix bill arriving, by the way. Um, that purple book um, covers all the AS and the A2. So we, we nearly finished the AS content. Um, and therefore, you need to know everything at the first part of that book up to the end of waves. OK, now, when you say exam, I can't say anything specific about what the content of the exam would be. If we had not been working from home because of coronavirus, then you would have had an exam purely on the AS content and that would have happened um, that would have happened uh, sometime in May just before half term. Um, that's not going to happen. So Rick and I's plan is that once we get to the end of waves, which shouldn't be too long, I'm going to estimate a couple of weeks, then um, we're going to move to teaching you astrophysics. And the reason we're going to move into teaching you astrophysics is there's pretty much no practical content. Um, we often do get, um, yeah, everything up, just cut another question from 
because I think yes, everything up to the end of waves AS. Uh, we haven't taught been you haven't been taught it in um, order, uh, the order of the book necessarily. But yeah, that that's a self-defined thing. That's something really important to concentrate on. Then we're going to move on to astrophysics, which is our optional topic. It's a separate paper, thirty-five marks, and then because if we can, you know, if say we were back in September and what we taught you was all of um, astrophysics and then we were just starting the other upper content at that point I'd feel we were like really on track obviously if we get to the end of astrophysics and we're still um, still all working from home then we'll just have to plow on um, into it'd be I'm fairly sure we would do simple harmonic motion then circular motion that's our that's our normal plan um, I hope, hope you found that useful right so Malia says, yes, the diagram shows that the length in one end of the fiber is 1000 meter, but it also shows that half the, oh, right. I'm just going to look at your diagram again. Click, ah, right. Now I understand now. Yes. It, 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 I'm not saying it in that diagram that the length of the fiber is 1000 meters. I will attempt to draw a diagram, um, which is going to be tricky, as you know, because um, everything's coming up the wrong way around and back to front because I didn't pay them £4.19. I think I might now pay them £4.19 now I know that it works. Now, it's to, this is a question about similar triangles. Let me um, just quickly whiz up a picture of a, of a ray doing some kind of reflecting down a flyby. And I'm not surprised this gets asked because it, it is probably the hardest part. Okay. So... Um, right, and I need something more opaque. Exploring exploring Scottish hill hill tracks by Ralph Storer can go behind, okay, to make it a bit more opaque. So you can see that we've got our off off ray bouncing down the fibre at the critical angle. Now I'm going to add that critical angle. Now the challenge often is, yeah, you, know, you get the question. The fibre is a thousand metres long. How far has the ray traveling at the critical angle traveled along the length of the fiber? And I've just been thinking next time diagrams need to be much bigger, don't they? Because you're watching um, on probably quite a low resolution. Anyway, um, that, yeah, we know it's much further. And I can remember the first time I saw this problem, I thought, well, oh, crikey. So I'm going to need to know the width of the fiber. And then I'm going to need to know how many triangles there are along the fiber. Um, and so I might work out that, you know, that this side of the triangle, um, the opposite side of the to the critical angle is, I don't know, one millimeter or something like that. And then you find out how many triangles fit in the fiber. And it looks like a really complicated problem. But that's um, not not what we get, not what we're going to do. We're going to imagine one giant triangle, because in the end, the ratio of that side to that side is the same, whether it's a big triangle or a little triangle. That's the whole point. The sign of that angle is the ratio of that side to that side. So what I meant in the diagram in the video is that if you take that distance there as 1,000 meters, if you imagine the fiber optic is so fat that it can do the whole thing in one go without bouncing backwards and forwards if that side's a thousand meters the length of that side is the length that the bouncing fiber the the fiber bouncing along um has traveled so no that that length isn't a thousand meters but if you imagine it is a thousand meters, it means in one go, just using sine theta, you can work out how long the hypotenuse will be. And that will tell you how far that ray of light has traveled, bouncing through it down the fiber at an angle. OK. Um, yeah, so you've said, how can you be sure that the length of that side, it isn't actually that long. I'm saying if you, um, the ratio of the straight through distance to the zigzagging distance is the same in every thickness of fiber. So if you work on a really, really fat fiber where there aren't, is no bouncing and get the answer from that, it will be the same for a thin fiber. Okay. Uh, 
just type whether that helped or not because uh, we haven't had a lot of other questions um lots of other people saying hi uh, although in general i'd say i was losing viewers glad i don't have to depend on whether you're watching or not for a living um yep any any more questions um anyone need anything else clarifying uh to here question 1d follow the method of the video but i didn't get what 11.5 kilometers i got 15 kilometers something like that um right i think um the fiber in the video if my memory serves me right was a thousand meters long and the fiber in the worksheet is ten thousand meters long so if you're out by factor 10 no question 1d yeah you didn't get 11.5 kilometers so what you have to do for this question is work out the critical angle which from memory having looked at the answer this morning is 60 degrees and then the length of the ray traveling at an angle because sine 60 equals the um straight through distance which is 10,000 meters over the hypotenuse which is um what you want uh, and rearranging that you'll get that the distance from the diagonal ray is 10,000 meters divided by sine 60 which is 0 0.866 or something and then that will give you um 11,500 kilometers um 1f how much longer does it take the slowest ray to travel through the fiber compared to the fastest ray so that that's all you've got to do is um, work out the time of travel for both rays. So um, both rays have got speed, um, speed of light in a vacuum divided by speed of light. Um, uh, right, OK, so here's got it now. Um, so I'm just going back to 1F. Um, yeah, you work out. The speed of light in the glass is two times 10 to the eight meters per second because it's three times 10 to the eight over the refractive index, which gives um, one, uh, two times 10 to the eight meters per second. And then you've got how long does it take to travel 10,000 meters at two times 10 to the eight meters per second? And how long does it take to travel um, 11,500 meters at two times 10 to the eight meters per second? Um, and then you know the, the f says how much longer does the slowest ray take so you find those two times and then you take one away from the other i hope that helps okay Malia has got that which is good um any other questions so um i can't remember whether i've just clicked send or not i'm about to click send on an email or i might have just clicked send on an email setting you some holiday homework so the holiday homework is basically the eight uh, 2018 AS papers um, set from Exam Pro. So two papers worth. Few multiple choice were um, missed out, partly because there's a question limit of 35 questions, and one short answer question missed out because it related to a bit of waves that we've not done. Um, and what I'll try and do with the webcam sorted out so I can write underneath it is um, do a we're on the Monday, the 20th of April, we'll see if we can find a time for another um, webcast to see if I can help with anything that you were stuck on there. OK. Any other questions about refraction, um, total internal reflection or fiber optics? Right then. Um, do hit thumbs up if you found that useful um because what i need to know from you uh, or or use whatsapp uh, i know it it isn't gonna, this isn't going to work unless you can see me doing maths that's a technical problem there must be a solution uh, it might be possible for me to i was hoping to be able to use my whiteboard and write on it um uh but you know just the general principle of taking questions live is just let try and let me know whether you think that's useful um or any other i mean we can go we can start looking at using teams for more stuff um 
it's a lot of time and energy for everyone to kind of recreate the timetable on Teams. I'm not saying we can't do that. Um, anyway, Millie has just told me she doesn't understand something. Um, obviously, she, I'm sure she knows she has to clarify what that is. Otherwise, we're not going to move forward. Um, but yeah, you know, do, do drop me an email about how things are going. Could you go over 1G? Uh, yeah, um, I think I'm going to say I've already been over 1G twice. Um, so we're, we're at the end of this webcast, I'll leave it up. I don't know exactly when it was, but Dean asked me. So I've been through that um, a couple of times. It, you, you'll recognize it because you'll see um, the second time I was holding that up to the webcam. OK, because this will stay in my stream. I won't delete it if people need it. If you, so Malia says, if you can... Okay, now that says, could you go through question H, please? Right, what does question H say? Yeah, so again, I don't, were you here at the beginning, Nada? When did you hear my answer to Dean um, or, or not? Um, right, Maliha, if you can work out how much light has been dispersed, how is that information useful? Like, what is, is it used for? So, I think I said in the video that we've got these fiber optic cables running over the Atlantic Ocean. And, you know, that just pause for a moment. That is a, a staggering technological challenge, isn't it? You've got a cable 3000 miles long running under the Atlantic Ocean, which is up to 5000 meters deep. And. Um, um, Everything that's under the ocean is incredibly difficult to access and service and incredibly expensive to be there. So as the fiber gets longer, the risk of pulses running into each other increases. And you and it's such a serious it is the most serious problem that limits how far you can um, communicate with fiber optics under the sea. So what we need to do is we need to do these calculations. So the the less we, we the the better we are at separating the pulses, the better we are at keeping them all taking the same time to go through the fiber, then the faster we can transfer information. And I mean, and if you think about the, the way the world is at the moment, we're all sending information down the internet. The whole backbone of the internet is um um light is is wired up with um fiber optics because you can get ones and noughts down really really fast so we in these questions we've been doing with this what's called a stepped index fiber we're finding out that you couldn't put in um information faster than a few hundred thousand times a second and all the really serious um commercial um fiber optics are um, putting information in around gigahertz, 10 to the nine times per second. So that, that's really reliant on keeping every pulse really, really narrow. Um, uh, and, and huge amounts of money and time and effort have been spent on making sure we can get as much information down the fiber as possible. Because if, if you could only put, if you could put information into a fiber, um, a million times a second, not a billion times a second, you would need 1,000 fibers to transmit the same information as one fiber that can do work at a gigahertz, a billion pulses per second. Um, uh, I was going to say something else about that. Yeah, and if you think that to stream something on the internet, is one person I think is around six million ones and noughts per second. So if you think that, say, a million people sat down tonight and clicked on Netflix, and each of them needed six million ones and noughts per second, you can see why we need fibers that can take, you know, ten to the nine, a billion pulses per second. Um, yeah, we can have a look at Teams. Um, Rick and I tried it. It seemed te technologically a bit of a disaster. I don't know whether it was just Rick's broadband that day. Um, I might have a little fiddle around, try it with a small number of people. Um, yeah, there are pro there are pros and cons. I've got Teams on this machine. Um, 
so yes it's, it's not impossible um i don't it, in terms of and i'm not sure quite as we've just been talking about bandwidth i don't quite know whether the fact that you can only type reduces the demand on my lowly household internet i am going to try and upgrade to fiber i don't know whether that's possible um yeah so we're gonna have a look at teams i mean we certainly probably need to start work moving to submitting work on teams because it is quite hard keeping track of everything in an internet inbox maliha uh did i answer your question has anyone else got a question psycho had to delete their message i wonder what it was an offer of cash probably probably a very large offer of cash they didn't realize i couldn't afford it um so as i say i mean i think when i click stop this will all just sit in my you know on tall teacher so if you want to find it and go back through uh, and find something missed nada are you all right there did you see me explaining about the frequency things what are the boxes behind me well i think there's a box of board oh no no there's one is a projector and then the other four are board games the next one up is a geo mag board game i don't think i've ever played the one above that is a board game my daughter bought second hand we've never played above that is a downton abbey game which I, we did try reinventing the rules for it wasn't very successful but the top one is ticket to ride that's a very good board game um if you're you know in isolation and you're clicking on the old amazon prime good family board game um I was going to make a stream donation. No, you don't really need to give me any money. I'm, I still get my salary, unlike some of the self-employed people. So, you know, I'm, don't worry about me. Um, Pepper the Poopy Pants. Well, oh, that was the, who asked the question about the boxes behind me. Okay. Um, well, I thought Tall Teacher was an unusual um, name. Right. Are we rounding off or are there any more questions? probably that monday will be youtube again unless i've massively grained in confidence on using teams um actually i've had some youtube problems but there's been more problems with teams uh, how are you uh, i'm i'm pretty good in the circumstances just been down the shop got milk which is very good um we'll go out for a walk later trying to do a bike ride every other day so life keeps moving on yeah, Nada's good. Excellent. That's some very good emojis there. Um, I really like the kitten in the box and the karate chop. Um, yeah, really having to, you know, as old people, look at this, all, all this hair gone, really having to come to terms with emojis at the moment, aren't we? You know, it's a brave new world. Um, do you like the picture? The picture over the shoulder is much better than the boxes over the shoulder. It's painted by an ex-student. Lovely seascape. What's the pros and cons of working from it? Personally, generally prefer going to work really have a bit of a laugh with rick and the other teachers um have a laugh with you guys um a bit more moving around a bit less being stuck in one place uh, uh this is quite nice going out in the garden taking photos of bees for lunchtime but i suspect that's rather seasonal to be an overall benefit um and my home computer is way better um way better than um the, the one at work i've got a bigger monitor and like you press the button and it happens it, you know not when it feels like it later just straight away yes i've got to get used to emojis yeah i have but melia you told me that one of my major emojis which i thought was a perfectly normal emoji looked like it was staring into your soul which did set me back and you know the big thing that the big setback for me was that i've got um whatsapp set up on my computer so i can I'm not very good at typing on the old phone. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I didn't, it took me a long time to realize that there were emojis um, on WhatsApp for PC, but it's been very useful. Um, okay, so Psycho saying goodbye. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Um, well, Dean, I was planning not to do, I'm planning to have a week off, you see, because I've been, I would say, you know, people saying pros and cons, I'd say, I'd worked much harder over the last two weeks learning technologies. So possibly the week after, but definitely not next week. I'm really planning to have a bit of a gap from week um, work or week. Um, I don't think I've had any questions all week that I've not answered. But um, yeah, maybe the week after, but certainly the week after that. Are, there any, are, we, are we coming to an end here um, now?
right then i think that i'm going to sign off then oh yeah 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 i've got a bit got a bit of a thumbs up in fact i could now am i going to type something no i clearly oh, maybe mine's just set up uh, maybe if i type goodbye no no my uh, mouse doesn't want to click in there at all never mind um Yeah, yeah, so here, I'm glad to hear you're finding the live streams useful. And obviously, once we get the technology, I've just dropped my pen in. Once we get the technologies right and I can write, then, um, um, <laughs> so okay, lots of emotional goodbyes there. Um, yeah, it, I, I will take questions on WhatsApp, but as I say, um, my plan will be, I don't know how strict I'll be, but I will um, be, probably be around less with, I, I don't know whether I'll be around less or not, I shall see. But certainly, I do need, feel, um, just genuinely need a bit of a break. I would have been in Devon next week, sadly, with my family, and I won't be. Um, is it possible to post homeworks on Blackboard? I mean, there's no... I think we're not going to go near Blackboard, and the reason we're not going to go near Blackboard is because I don't even know whether I'd get in, actually, at the moment. I could. I could have to do a remote log on, which we can do, and you can't. Um, but at, at some point... Blackboard is going to be turned off because we have paid a bill to Blackboard up to a certain date and then it goes off. So I think we're going to have to um, say goodbye to Blackboard at some point. So I don't want to start getting everyone to log in. Um, uh, uh, get, get everyone to log into Blackboard and then say, actually, we can't use it. If, if probably Teams is the way to go in terms of submitting work. Um, that's a lovely emoji. Thank you very much, Emily. Um, yeah. Um, so it will be Teams. I mean, Nada, I know I've had some work from you on Teams. Um, and the only problem with that is not that it was a problem. Is just it's not is in a different place. But I think I need to sort of have a think through um, exactly how we're going to do that. Um, I need to look more at assignments. And we need to find some ways. Um, I think we'll be using at least some quizzes via Teams. Um, okay. Um, right then. Am I signing off now? Thank you very much. Goodbye. Right then. Um, I know what the problem is. Sorry, I had me graphics tablet, right? I just got to type goodbye in here. Now I regained typing capacity. Right then, see ya, bye.